So let's talk about residuals. Calculating residuals by hand can be a pain, but doing them on the calculator, almost more of a pain. I'm still going to show you how to do it just in case you need to know, but I would, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a pain. Okay, so in order to calculate a residual, we have to do observed minus predicted, which means we need to know all the predicted values. So, when you've done linear regression, make a note of the equation of your line on a piece of paper somewhere, and then you're going to go to y equals and type in that equation. Then we're going to go to our lists, so click on stat and hit enter. We are going to put our residuals in L3. Now we're not going to do this one by one. The advantage of the calculator is we can use an equation and have it do all the calculations for us. The disadvantage is it takes a while. You're going to tab up to L3 and hit enter. You should see your cursor move down here. It should say L3 equals and then you should have a blinking cursor. If you try to type this here, you're going to get a, a lot of errors. Go up to L3, hit enter, make sure your cursor is here. To calculate a residual, we need to do observed minus predicted. So the first thing we need to do is calculate all the predicted values. The nice thing about this being a video is you can go back and rewatch as many times as you need, so I'm not going to say everything three times like I would do if I were in class. So we're going to click on vars, over to y vars, hit enter, and then hit enter again so that we get y1. That was where we typed in the equation of the line. Then do parentheses, L1. This is not multiplying y1 by L1, it's a function. y1 was an equation, so this is like f of x. It's taking all of L1 and plugging it into y1. So if you hit enter, it should go through and fill in L3 with all the predicted values. Still haven't found the residuals yet. We're going to go over to L4. Same thing, we're clicking up to L4, hitting enter, make sure the cursor is down here. The um, residual is observed minus predicted, so the observed value was in L2. The predicted value is in L3, so L2 minus L3, and if you hit enter, there you go. There's all your residuals. If for whatever reason you need to make a residual plot on your calculator, you can. Here's how that works. Go back to stat plot. This is already on from the last video. I have a scatter plot comparing my x and y variables but I want to compare my x variable to my residuals. All you have to do is change the y list. I don't want to compare x to y anymore, I want to compare x to the residuals, and my residuals are in L4. Now if I hit graph, oh, there's my regression line. Um, I just see the line, so I have to do zoom stat to recenter that, and there's my residual plot. Nothing labeled. Um, still kind of hard to read, but it does give you an idea of what the residual plot would look like. 